Millionaire live trivia show. My name is Genevieve and I'm delighted to have you here today because the international variants of this game show has been aired across 130 countries worldwide. And today you're just 15 questions away from equally sharing our grand prize 1,000 euros. So the rules are very simple. You're going to have 15 questions and four possible op options to choose from, with only one of them being the correct one. So choose the right answer in 15 seconds and take a step closer to that equally shared grand prize, 1,000 euros. Also, if you're not sure the right answer, you can use one of the two lifelines, 50-50 or ask the audience. So choose 50-50 and we will take two of the wrong answers away or ask the audience and uh, you're going to be able to see what other players are choosing for their answer. So ladies and gentlemen, wish you great success, you know the rules, you know the lifelines, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the first question on the show. The Olympic flag has how many rings? Four, five, six, or seven? Well, I have a feeling you might know this one. So I hope everybody gets this one right. So good luck, guys. Final seconds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ready to find out? All right, the right answer to the first question is of course, it's B, five. So congratulations, 2,311 players are still fighting for the grand prize. All right, the next question, good luck. Vladimir Klitschko is a famous name in which sport? A, boxing, B, athletics, C, tennis, or D, football? What do you think? A, B, C, or D, is that your final answer? All right, ladies and gentlemen, intrigued to see which is the correct one. All right, all of those who chose A, boxing, you are totally right. Awesome, guys. So two questions done, 13 more to go. Cross my fingers for great success. So the next question. How old was Tiger Woods when he won the Masters in 1997? 16, 18, 21, or 26 years old? Well, any idea? All right, guys, I hope you got this one on time. Let's have a look at the right answer. And it is, it's C, 21 years old. So congratulations, whoever got this one right. Three questions done. Let's have a look at the next one. Good luck, everybody. The Grand National Horse Race is run over a course in which city? Liverpool, Exeter, Bristol or Torquay? A, B, C or D, what are you thinking? Well, if you're a fan of horse racing, you should know this one, I think. Alright guys, I'm intrigued to see the right answer. Let's have a look. And the right one is... A, Liverpool. So awesome, 1,301 players still fighting for the grand prize. Well, keep in mind, 15 seconds on the clock. Good luck. In which year did the US host the FIFA World Cup? A, 1990. B, 1994. C, 1998. Or D, 2000. A, B, C, or D, what are you thinking? You think you know this one? Well, only one way to find out, ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is... It's B, 1994. So look at that, 1,199 players are still fighting for the grand prize, equally shared 1,000 euros. Well, if the question is getting harder, don't forget to use those lifelines. Good luck, the next question. Biathlon combines shooting with which other sport? Skiing horse riding, swimming, or javelin? Well, ladies and gentlemen, any idea of this one? Maybe it's time to use those lifelines. Good luck. All 
All right, I'm intrigued to see how many of you got this one right. Ladies and gentlemen, the right answer to the sixth question is A, skiing. So congratulations, you got this one right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the next question? Good luck. So the seventh question. How wide is an NHL hockey rink? 85 feet, 125 feet, 200 feet, or 900 feet? Well, ladies and gentlemen, last seconds to get that answer. All right, all the hockey fans, <laughs> let's have a look. The right answer is... It's eight, 85 feet, so 722 players still in. Well, we're getting in the middle there. Let's have a look at the eighth question of the show. Which baseball star married Marilyn Monroe in 1954? Ty Cobb, Joe DiMaggio, Lou Gehrig, or Mickey Mantle? Well, final seconds, A, B, C, or D, what do you think? All right, ladies and gentlemen, ready to find out? Let's have a look. The right answer is B, Joe DiMaggio. So congratulations, 693 players are still fighting for the grand prize, equally shared 1,000 euros. All right, the next question, good luck. In what year was inline skating removed from the X Games? A, 1995, B, 2000, C, 2005, or D, 2011? What do you think? Is that your final answer? All right, it's time to find out the right answer to the ninth question, ladies and gentlemen. And it is C, 2005. So congratulations, those who managed to get to the next question, ladies and gentlemen. So let's have a look at the tenth question of the show. Which country won the 2011 Rugby World Cup? Germany, Australia, France, or New Zealand? A, B, C, or D, what do you think? Well, last seconds. I mean, if you don't know the right answer, pick anything. Who knows, might be the right one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is it's D, New Zealand. So look at that, 543 players are still in on our show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you still have those lifelines, don't forget you can still use them. Well, let's have a look at the 11th question of the show. Complete the name of this professional motocross rider. Stefan, Everts, Pastrana, Metzger, or Smith? A, B, C, or D. What do you think? Well, he fan of motocross, maybe you are sure about this answer. Well, let's have a look, ladies and gentlemen. The right one is... It's a Everts. So congratulations, 481 players still fighting for the grand prize. Well, ladies and gentlemen, only four questions away. Good luck. In which year was the first of the PGA Tour series of golf games released? 1986, 1990. 1994 or in 1998? Well, last seconds to get that answer. Good luck, everyone. All right, intrigued to see how many of you got this one right, ladies and gentlemen. The right answer to the 12th question is B, 1990. So, lovely job, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Whoever got that one right, well, three questions away. Let's go. Next question. In which city were the Yankees formed before moving to New York? Chicago, Boston, Baltimore, or Maryland? A, B, C, or D. Is that your final answer? Well, last seconds. Good luck, everyone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is... It's C, Baltimore. Congratulations, those who managed to get further. Well, ladies and gentlemen, time to see the 14th question. Good luck. In which state did the Pro-American Football Hall of Fame? Illinois, Virginia, Ohio, or New York? 
A, B, C, or D. Last seconds, ladies and gentlemen, cross my fingers. Let's have a look. So, intrigued to see how many of you got this one right. Ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is... It's C, Ohio. So, look at that, 296 players are still in on our show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget about lifelines if you still have them. And now, it's time for final question. Good luck. In which decade did the Detroit Lions win three NFL titles? 1920s. 1930s, 1940s, or 1950s? A, B, C, or D? Is that your final answer? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to see how many of you got all the questions right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 1950s. D is the correct answer. And look at that. We have 166 players equally sharing our grand prize, 1,000 euros. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. I sure hope you enjoyed our show here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Live Trivia. Well, thank you very much for taking a part. Don't forget to check out Adventures Beyond the Wonderland Alive for some more fun. And I'll catch you in three hours for the next show. So thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen, and see you later. Bye.